Yesterday I was digging around in the bench. We still have a can of bear spray in there. We bought it when we were doing some hikes in Alaska last summer. Andy's got the bear spray. You're quick. We decided to just keep it just in case we needed it again. And it was kind of nice to just have it as like a backup weapon, I guess, um, if we were to need to defend ourselves ever while living in the van. I've always been worried about this happening and yesterday it finally happened. I somehow knocked the safety pin out for like a split second. I bumped it and I sprayed the can. Luckily it just went on my arm and I was like coughing and sneezing like watery eyes for a little bit, but it wasn't bad at all. But just my forearm burned so bad for like the rest of the day. I think it's time that we probably Probably should throw out the bear spray. I don't think we're gonna need it at this point. Hello and welcome to this video. It's Claire and today we're talking about the top six absolute best places to visit in the United States, in my opinion. So this is a highly requested video and by highly requested, I mean Andy's dad gave me the idea. So thanks Mike, it's a good idea for a video. These top six locations are not specific to van life. It's just like in general, these are really awesome places to go if you're someone who likes to travel. When it comes to van life, the best places to visit are typically the ones that are van life friendly, meaning it's easy to find places to sleep at night, fill your water, etc., etc. And that is not necessarily the case with the locations that I have on my list. So starting at the top, and working our way down to number one. The number six best place to visit in the US, in my opinion, is Austin, Texas. I agonized over which Texas spot to put on this list because there are so many and they're all so different. So it's really hard to choose a favorite. I had it narrowed down between Austin and Dallas because both of those cities I absolutely loved during our time in Texas, but I had to side with Austin in the end. Sorry, Dallas people. Austin has an awesome food and bar scene. We went to a cute little art museum called the Blanton Museum of Art located within the University of Texas. And depending on the time of year, if you time it right, you can get some pretty beautiful weather. Number five is Moab, Utah. Moab absolutely blew my mind. Not only was it just a cool place to visit in general, it also did happen to be very van life friendly, which made our experience 10 out of 10. It's a great place to do some camping. There's a ton of BLM land where you can camp for free. And this land goes pretty deep into the middle of nowhere. So if you're wanting a break from the hustle and bustle, you can really disappear for a while. Can you Lands National Park and Arches National Park are located basically right in Moab. And let's be honest, anytime national parks are present, there is pretty much an endless list of outdoor activities you can participate in. National parks aside, there are some pretty awesome hikes and I'm assuming bike trails in the area as well. Before I move on to number four on this list, please take a second to comment below what your number one all-time favorite spot to visit in the United States is. I could talk for days about the different spots to visit in this country and I really want to know what your thoughts are. Number four on my list is Homer, Alaska. I did not expect to love Alaska. In my mind, I had a preconceived, very specific type of person who would love Alaska, and that would be someone who loves fishing and hunting and not showering for weeks at a time, but I was proven so, so wrong. Homer has endless what you could call tourist opportunities, including whale watching, shopping, there's lots of restaurants, of course. Just take a ton of layers and make sure you're dressed warm enough. Yes, even in August. Number Number three is Siesta Key, Florida. I can't have a list of the top places to visit in the US and not have a Florida location on there, right? Similar to Texas, I had a really tough time narrowing it down to just one Florida location because there are so many. Seriously, pick any point along the entire west side of the state of Florida and it could be on this list. I ended up choosing Siesta Key because for me, the sand at the beaches stood out at this location. It could have just been the specific beaches that we happened to go to, or Siesta could have just been having a really good sand day on the particular days that we were there. But I do have to admit, the days that we spent on the beach at Siesta Key were superior to any other area in Florida that we spent time at. And I think it comes down to that buttery warm sand. Okay, some people might hate me for this one. Number two is New York City, New York. I'm so so sorry. I love New York City. I know it's not for everyone, but if you're the type of person who gets energized by city environments, you must spend at least a day or two in New York City. There is just absolutely nothing like it in the world. Of course, there's ample opportunities to do things and stay busy while you're there, but I honestly suggest just walking around and seeing where the day takes you. That is what I did in my time in NYC. It was, no exaggeration, one of the best days of my entire life. So I'm going to take this time to give a little honorable mention. I don't want to 
to do it after number one because I don't want to steal number one's thunder, but I just want to take a second to acknowledge Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. Not in the United States, so I can't give it a numbered position on this list because this list is called the top places in the US. I need to put it out into the world that Edmonton, Alberta is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in my life. It's the cleanest city I have seen in years. And again, time it right and you could have beautiful weather to walk around and explore in. Are you ready for number one? Here we go. The number one absolute best spot to visit in all of the United States is Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming. Listen, I'm surprised this is number one. I really, really am. A lot like Alaska, I didn't expect to love a spot that is seemingly in the middle of nowhere Wyoming, okay? I'm just not really, how do you say? a Wyoming kind of girl, but I dream about going back to the Tetons. The views were elite, the hikes were amazing. Again, national parks have endless opportunities to stay busy. You could be a hardcore nature junkie, or you could be an average Joe off the street like me, and you're gonna enjoy yourself either way. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you next week. Bye!